What's up, everybody? Welcome back to our series on Genesis and Amanda. I've been playing the guitar since I was 15. Guitar is very fun and it's very precious to me. But I have to let this go today. Jennifer wanted to play the guitar, so I decided to lend it to her for about two days. Guitar is important to me, of course, but I decided to lend it to Jennifer because I believe she won't break my guitar and will take responsibility even if it breaks. Like this, if you trust someone, if you have faith in that person, you can comfortably leave it to him or her. Abraham is known as the father of faith. We are looking at Abraham's life through the Genesis series. What is Abraham's faith? What did he do with it so that he could be called the father of faith? Today, we'll look at it through the story of the test on Abraham in Genesis part 8. Let's start!
God had promised Abraham and Sarah that they would have more descendants than anybody could count, as many as the stars in the sky. But they didn't have any children. Abraham and Sarah were very old when God gave them a son. They named him Isaac. All of the people on earth would be blessed because of Abraham and Sarah's family. So their son Isaac was very, very special. Later, God tested Abraham to show that God was really more important to Abraham than anything or anyone else. God told Abraham to do something that sounded strange. God told Abraham to take Isaac to a special mountain and offer him to God. Long ago in Bible times, people gave offerings to God to show they loved him, to thank him for something, or to say to God, I'm sorry, please forgive me. These offerings were called sacrifices. When the offering was an animal, the animal was killed when it was sacrificed. People offered God the best animal from their flocks. This time though, God didn't ask for an animal. He told Abraham to give Isaac as a sacrifice. Abraham loved Isaac very much. God had promised that Isaac would have a family. How could that happen if Abraham gave Isaac as a sacrifice? Abraham believed that God would make things turn out right. He did not know how God would do it, but Abraham believed God would keep his promise about Isaac. So Abraham obeyed. Early in the morning, Abraham, Isaac, and two helpers took a donkey and the supplies they needed. They walked for three days until they came to the place God had told Abraham about. Then Abraham and Isaac went by themselves up the mountain. Where is the lamb to sacrifice to God? asked Isaac. Abraham said, God will give us a lamb to sacrifice. Abraham built the altar and got ready to offer Isaac to God. A voice called to them from heaven and said, Abraham, I see that you were willing to do what I said. You do not have to offer your son Isaac. Abraham looked up and saw a fine sheep caught in the bushes. God had sent a lamb to sacrifice instead of Isaac. God, Abraham, and Isaac could see that Abraham loved God most of all. God said to Abraham, you will have as many descendants as the stars in the sky and the sand on the seashore. All the world will be blessed. Abraham trusted God. He was willing to give up his son Isaac when God asked him to. Isaac didn't have to die because God provided a ram instead. God was willing to give up his son Jesus to save the world from sin. We don't have to die for our sin because Jesus died instead. Hey friends, welcome back to Emma's Lab. Do you remember Koch and Mentor's experiment? It was a very interesting and fascinating experiment, wasn't it? Today, we're going to do another experiment! The preparation for today's experiment is very simple. Any kind of balloons and candle, that's it! We need to blow the balloon first. What happens if this balloon and candle meet? Let's try! Wow! It popped! Let me try one more time! It popped! One more time, one more time! Wow! Let me try one more time! Yeah! You see? This balloon doesn't pop. What's going on? What's the secret? Ooh. The secret to this super balloon is... Ooh. Water! Balloons can 
could stand fire and melt and pop. But what if there is water in the balloon? No matter how hot the fire is, heat is not delivered to the balloon but to the water so it doesn't burst. Isn't it amazing? Abraham was tested just like how a balloon popped by the heat of the candle. God ordered Abraham to sacrifice Isaac, his only son. Does this make sense? This was such a difficult test. If Abraham was just a blue, he would have just burst. Did Abraham complain at the time? No. Abraham obeyed God's word immediately and set out with his son Isaac. How could he do that? Abraham knew how faithful God was throughout his life. God chose him unconditionally and made a covenant with him. And God gave him Isaac to confirm the covenant. The faithful God led Abraham to believe and trust in God. Just as the water in the balloon prevented the balloon from bursting, the faith God gave Abraham allowed him to proceed boldly even in a such a difficult test. What was Abraham's faith? Hebrew chapter 11, 19 said, Abraham reasoned that God could raise the dead and figuratively speaking, he did receive Isaac back from death. Because God is faithful and keeps his promises, Abraham believed that God could raise Isaac from the dead even if he died. He believed that God would do what God promised. Abraham, who has 100% faith in God through God's faithfulness, not only believes but also demonstrates his faith through his actions. What was prepared for Abraham who acted by faith and endured the test? Yes, God acknowledged Abraham's faith and made him offer sacrifice not with his son Isaac but with the ram God had provided. God's test is not just about popping balloons. God's test is not just to make us suffer. God has already prepared the sacrifice. Through this test, God made Abraham grow into more faith. God who gave us faith is the one who makes us grow that faith. All we have to do is trust the faithful God and obey and act as he leads us. That God, who prepares everything before we ask, who loves us more than anything else, will lead us to the path to overcome the test and the way faith grows. Let's trust God! Yeah, I'm gonna clean up the wrap now. See you next time! Bye! Wow! Hi guys, I'm Jack. Today, I want to play a very simple listening game with you. You are going to listen to the sound of animal. Then you want to guess which animal made that sound. Simple and easy, right? All right, then here we go.
How was that? I'm sure you guys all did a good job. That was a quite simple test for us, trying to figure out which animal made those sounds. We all will be tested in life, and that's a life lesson. Sometimes it will be tough, like Abraham's test. But I want you to remember that you can get through it and become stronger by following God's promise to you. Okay? Alright, then see you next time. Bye! Wow, that was a great experiment, Anna. Mm -hmm. And thank you so much for the fun game, Jack. I hope you all enjoyed watching today's lesson on Genesis as well. The faithful God leads us to trust Him and have faith on Him. And He makes us continue to grow that faith so that we can live by faith. Yes, thanks to God who is with us and gives us this grace. Let's trust Him more and live by faith. We'll see you next week on Genesis. Bye-bye! Bye! -bye. Bye.